and Dirk. Yes, it is. The largest celebrity prize pot, if you will, that we had. We had the $10,000 one just yesterday. $20,000, Ted Bright future in this league. Best shooting guard in the season six draft class, and I don't even think it's debatable. It's crazy. That was like the conversation we had with Famous though yesterday as Sub Goda gets a three, and that one's good. They were talking about these guys. I'm like, I remember Lizzie saying, yeah. See, I'm happy to finally put some faces to names here too. I've been seeing these guys like walking around. I'm just like, they look familiar. I was like, please say your gamer tag, and they do as Glizzy fires up a native and loud. Thought he might have had an opportunity there coming out of the corner under 10 now. Back to Glizzy. Oh, there we go. There's the defense we want to see. Oh, now Annoying puts annoying. the ball down the floor. Annoying and Tyson. Oh, it's allowed, and he greens the shot. And Glizzy over to Annoying. No meter, and he greens it. Yes, 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 yes. Whether he does have a meter on. But it's even crazy that his first shot with no meter was a green. It was yick. I know when when it looks back, I know green and loud, greens and loud. Kind of on this game. And I want to talk about Sub Goaded, who told me that, of course, the league is the goal. But he also mentioned to me that he... The strides he's made in his game this post-draft has been tremendous. And looking good out there with the point guard build. Annoying switch into the play again. Stop a pop for Sub Goaded. Speak of the man. Great quick stop. Great quick stop. But here comes one back. Here comes one right back. Glizzy and Native. And takes the lane that's given to him. Slams it home up by three now. Look at no. Annoying with the board. A three here from Glizzy would close it out in game number one. See what he can do. Oh, what what I say? Say? what a what shot! I say? Dirk, what I say? I told you, just let him get started. Just let him get started. <laughs> that's a top three, top four pick. He had the meter off. I believe him. Hey, when I saw that, I'm telling you. Have you seen me get that excited? Probably like I, I, over the course of the week I have. But that as annoying gets the rebound. Glizzy, wide open catch and shoot shot. Slightly late, doesn't matter. Got to get back. Dino, back on offense again. Let's bring in Jasmine while we have some time. Oof. Yeah, guys, you heard annoying say that he did not. Okay. And Ticino gets another look. This time knocks it down. Shoot. Uh, last week, and then of course we had Team APAC come out here playing their own little showcase game. Finally just being able to get that feel of, hey, you know, I don't have to sit there, hold square, and then release it a second early for it to carry over. I don't know, just, I mean, I said it. All right, I'm proud of you. They keep giving all that noise. I told him you're the best shooting guard in the world in this class. It's no reason. Nobody's in your realm. Ooh. Stay where you at. So go to been cooking, not park. And he said loud and annoying because he saw the name loud and annoying and goes, oh, wow, this would be a nice rose. That was actually kind of tough. That wasn't bad. <laughs> I, out there told from you, I called it. He just whited it. And they'll take the dunk on the other side. And wow, things are getting interesting. Team Annoying took game one and Team Tyson. Oh, God. Over anybody else, jersey-wise. Yeah, that's uh, Final Four. Well, here's what I say. I say he changes up the beard wager and makes it to where, like, if they just win any tournament. Okay, when he tore his ACL back in 2020 and then during COVID-19, he started playing the game a lot more. And I did see a tweet. Okay, Lee, I don't see no way he doesn't make it out the top five. Killed. If he drops that far, that's the way you don't grab him unless you really need a point guard it is a very deep class maybe but if you already have it would pull ahead i was thinking three hunting galore was going to be going down yeah i figured glizzy would shoot like eight threes a game and hit six of them but i guess not so it was like play shot ones on both to the corner because he just had that much time jt does glizzy have that dog in him a thousand percent he back there Let's go on ISO ball here to potentially close it out. They go to Annoying. And Annoying down the baseline is going to get bumped by Native. One pump fake back out to Glizzy. Wide open for three. Knocks down the shot. And In the series until that game. So I expect him to come bounce back this game with a very loud big blitz. And there you go. That'll be a good way to start it off. That's how they do it. The blitz. Steal. The Whites. Glizzy now over to Loud. Loud will stop and shoot that one. Greens it right. Five to three. 
Team Ticino. As Glizzy takes the baseline, quick drop-ins for him, tied up again. Just shoot fade, feels so easy. And look, big rebound by Lau, big three by Glizzy. It's just they're missing the IQ of it all when it comes to fives and more in-depth 2K. So once they get that part down, the future is going to... Into our first ever NBA 2K League 3v3 Finals. As sub go to working out, pick and roll, Glizzy. Oh, played that to perfection, but did he green it? Yeah, he did green the one in the corner. That's the one I went crazy over. And then he missed a pop out to the left side. As another lead change comes in. It's really insane. Glizzy pulling this one out. Double Hesse. And head down, slams that one home. That's really the best move in the game, Dirk. He came out really shooting well. And once his shooting started to take a hit, that's when it kind of gave basketball guys the advantage in this series. Sub going back the other way. And oh, tough, tough one. But can Team Annoying put the final touches on this? They go to the corner, too annoying. Now it's a loud elbow jumper. He greens it, and there you have it. Team Annoying. They take the best of five.